And my name is Braden McInnes. We're here in Anderson County where I was born and raised. I operate a first generation row crop operation. We farm primarily corn, farm a little bit of cotton, a little bit of wheat, occasionally some milo. Uh, we produce commercial Bermuda grass hay, both large round bales, large square bales, and small square bales for the commercial market. We run about 150 mama cows. Also just got into a little bit of logging, a little bit of timber clearing, where we're reclaiming timber ground to hay production. I'm an agri-science teacher at Elkhart High School. Here I'm an FFA advisor. I go to shows. I teach classes like livestock production, advanced animal science, floral design, small animal management, so dogs and cats and reptiles, and equine science. Um, I got to move positions this last year. Our head ag teacher left and went back home, um, which gave me the opportunity to move up. So I'm now the lead ag teacher at Elkhart High School. Getting to live on the farm and then um, bringing those ideas into the classroom, I really get to share those real life experiences with those students. East Texas isn't known for row crops and it's certainly not known for corn and cotton production. All of my grain will go to some local chicken markets. Slowly moving to try to shift uh, to sell more and more on the retail level straight to customers. So that would kind of follow right in line with our small square hay sales. I mean, a farmer's one of the only industries that we pay retail for everything and then turn around and sell our product at wholesale and we're paying for the freight both ways and just trying to get over that hurdle and trying to trying to reach those retail markets. I think my favorite part about being an agri-science teacher is the hands-on projects outside of school, getting to make those real relationships with those kids and watch them grow and, and it's, it's amazing to watch them enjoy the love of agriculture and I get to teach them all perspectives from their animal side, which is really my job, but then I, we do harvest experiences where we bring them on the farm and we let them drive equipment, things that they don't usually get to see in East Texas because row crop farming is not as big of a thing in our area. I love being able to grow things, being able to, to, to see that ground turned over in the fall and planting that seed and then and seeing something like a corn plant that's seven or eight foot tall grow. And when the pigs don't get it, getting to drive a combine through it in the late summer and, and see all your hard work pay off. My job and my life is very, very rewarding. Me and Braden don't have necessarily a family right now. Our family is me and him, so most of our time gets put into my kids at school, my time on the farm, and then my time with Farm Bureau, and, and I get to live a rewarding life every day. Um, I enjoy agriculture. I think it's a very important aspect of our community. I didn't have the opportunity of stepping into a large ag operation, and I'd love to give my kids and grandkids that opportunity or you know, their spouses, whoever. I just, I'd love to have an opportunity for them to bring them into the operation someday and enjoy the life that me and Jordan live.